So as an introduction to the series, I'd just like to quickly go through a quick, a quick few definitions and background information to set the scene for the, for the upcoming questions. Um, first of all, when we define a microbe, we include all single-celled organisms and we choose to include viruses in that definition. And when we refer to a microbiome, it refers to all of the single-celled organisms in and on a human being. So you may have a lung microbiome, you may have a skin microbiome or a gut microbiome. Human beings all have a microbiome, as does every other organism on the planet. And that's because they, we evolved in a sea of microbes. Microbes were the only life on this planet for the first two and a half thousand million years of life on Earth. And when multicellular life formed, it formed in a sea of microbes. And in the process, outsourced a lot of the chemistry around those microbes. Currently, around 85% of teenagers get acne and around 18% of children have eczema. These two are not really found in hunter-gatherers. And one basic contention of, us, of, of ours is that if we manage to shift our skin microbiome back to its ancestral state, that we should see these diseases of modernity resolve. So you're made of cells, and most of those cells aren't human. For every human cell in your body, there are at least 10 microbes, 